fitting. There's a little bee checking out my flowers here while I'm rocking my mama bee shirt. Feels so good out here. It's starting to feel like fall. Can you guys feel it? It's like just a little crisper in the air. You can smell fall is on the horizon. I love mornings like this. Hey there, if we don't know each other yet, my name is Natalie. I'm a modern therapist turned holistic practitioner. I help people get where they wanna go in life, believing in their dreams with them through online coaching. And this is how I live out my dream. My dream is to own and operate a regenerative farm and retreat center one day. And so I steward what we've been given now in the form of this garden on this suburban plot. And we are learning to grow our own food, preserve things, and eat real food that we've grown ourselves because that's what this is all about for me is real food, real health, and a good life. So if you like that sort of thing, definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. So these are Jimmy Nardello peppers and they're basically like a bell pepper but in hot pepper form but they're not spicy at all in fact I think these are classified as sweet peppers and I grew these from seed this is my first successful pepper plant peppers can be kind of difficult to germinate and grow uh, so I'm super proud of these and I'm really excited to try these my friend Jill recommends roasting them and making like this little dipping sauce and my friend Jess over at Roots and Refuge made this as well on her vlog so I think I'm gonna have to try that out very sweet very flavorful I really hope that you're not looking at me right now thinking oh wow that's so cool she grew zucchini because let me tell you what I did do. I didn't grow zucchinis. This was too shady. I didn't have the right setup for it. And it's just hosting a lot of disease. I got no zucchinis and all disease, but keeping a growth mindset, this is a learned lesson. So powdery mildew is something I've always dealt with, with like cucurbits like zucchini and melons and cucumbers, and it apparently can spread to Swiss chard as well. So 
I'm trying to cut this disease out wherever I find it. It's a fungal disease, so it spreads really easily, and I definitely don't want it in my garden. Thanks for joining me in the garden today, you guys, where the retreat center of my dreams is virtual for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Nothing like a peaceful morning with the sound of mowers and chainsaws and miter saws and my neighbor's pump for her pool going off.